Um, uh, Premier, in your opening statement, you talked about the Bushfire Recovery Task Force, which we understand <coughs> has been dissolved, and made a number of statements about the impact of the devastating summer bushfires on Tasmania. You didn't mention the words climate change. Yeah. Um, and every, but everything that you were talking about in that statement is, in fact, a response to climate-induced um, extreme weather events, but you've got no climate ministry. And um, in the budget papers, your funding for the Climate Action Plan runs out in 2021. Do you expect the Earth's climate to have recovered itself by then? Um, I did mention climate change in my opening and referred okay, to well, I apologise. Can I withdraw you. it? As, oh, well, yeah, that's as, different, not in the context of the bushfires. Uh, and as to my pred predictions about um, what may or may not happen with the Earth, Earth's climate, I think we should rely on experts uh, for that. Yes, my point being, Premier, that on page 200 of Premier and Cabinet, Climate Action 21, Tasmania's Climate Change Action Plan, the funding runs out in the yes. year 2021. And, in fact, the funding for the Climate Office as a whole declines over the, this coming term of the government. It declines considerably from two, just a bit over two million to just a bit over one and a half million. How can you, in all conscience, in a time of accelerating climate disruption, have a climate plan that runs out in 2021 and lower funding for the Climate Office? Yeah, and certainly with respect to um, the plan, it was always envisaged that the, well, the plan was to conclude at that point, in which case um, government will reassess the actions of the plan and reset uh, our, our plan moving forward. And but it's there's not no funding for in the out years for climate response. But we've, there's no funding. It's not unusual for a government um, and its budget papers to reflect the cessation of a term of a strategy, and it's happened with the Family Violence Action Plan as well. And then, as has happened with that plan, we are onto the second iteration of it that will inform new initiatives. Um, you just don't set and forget with these things. It, it's important to uh, review them and for government to make decisions about, you know, future initiatives, future actions that will work better, uh, to revise and review what's happened under the existing plan and to budget for it accordingly. And that's uh, what I'll expect will happen with the um, Climate Change Action Plan as well. So, Premier, in the budget papers, there's also a reduction in funding for um, bushfire management in the Toir. Um, there is underfunding, in our view, of um, uh, remote firefighting capacity. Your climate plan funding runs out in 2021. Um, Where's the sense of um, urgency in this budget in response to the climate crisis? Do you acknowledge that the January bushfires were as a result of an increase in dry lightning events, as confirmed by the Parks and Wildlife Service uh, in the past decade? The last fires? The Parks and Wildlife Service undertook some work about three or four years ago which proved that dry lightning events are increasing... Uh, the January or the December January fires were started by dry lightning events. Yeah. Do you acknowledge that they were climate related fires? Yes. Right. So, why is your budget underfunding bushfire management in the Toir, not allocating mm. extra funding to remote firefighting capacity and defunding the climate plan after two years? No, I don't accept um, your, your proposition. Um, and following the events not only of, um, of this year but also 2013 and 2016, um, which also caused damage uh, to the Toir. Uh, we committed additional funding for the Bushfire and Climate Change Research Project to investigate the impact of climate change on the Toir and recommended ways to improve how we prepare for and respond to bushfires in the Toir. The research project confirmed, of course, that we are likely to experience increasing bushfire risk, as you say, as a result of um, our changing climate. And in response to the research project, the Tasmanian government allocated additional funding of $4 million over a four-year period, commencing in the 2017-18 budget for bushfire management in and adjacent to the Toir. The additional $4 million in funding is supporting a number of research project recommendations, some of which have already been implemented 
uh, while other longer term strategies remain ongoing. And the recommendations include improving bushfire management planning, bushfire risk assessment modelling, bushfire recovery, developing a model of fire cover and undertaking planned burning in the Twa. And the funding is also contributing to the Tasmanian Government's commitment to meet national and international responsibilities to protect the outstanding universal value of the Twa. A committee comprising representatives from the Department of Primary Industries, Parks, Water and Environment, the Tasmanian Fire Service, Department of Premier and Cabinet meets quarterly to monitor implementation of the recommendations. And one of the key outputs of the work currently being conducted is to develop a comprehensive TWA fire management plan that will contain clear objectives for fire management, the TWA clarity regarding circumstances in which priority will be given to protecting uh, the values of the TWA clear objectives for management burning in the TWA, including Indigenous burning practices and a framework for monitoring impacts of bushfires and planned burns in the TWA. And Parks and Wildlife Service, we may talk about this a little later, is also undertaking a lot of work to um, review its immediate, medium and long-term fire suppression capabilities, reviewing the research program on fire and natural cultural heritage values. Premier, can I ask if you think your government is doing enough to respond to the climate crisis? Yes. Do you? Yes. You want to log native forests. You've underinvested in Twa bushfire management. Not, no. Your climate plan runs out in two years. Climate office funding uh, declines over the forward estimates. And you think you're doing enough to respond to the climate crisis? Yes, um, I certainly do. Um, and we've had some extensive debates about the actions and initiatives that are contained within the um, Climate Action Plan, and I can go through uh, them and our adaptation. You could, might do that in dot point form, given that you did it ad nauseum. Well, in because last you keep week. asking the same question, no, and we well, keep giving you an answer. Well, which... the numbers speak for themselves. Yeah. You are under investing in the climate response, and um, that's a matter of concern, I think, to all Tasmanians, particularly young people. No, and we've we've taken action in response to the research report that's undertaken. Um, and there are a number of, of we key... We haven't implemented all of time. No, we haven't well, implemented all of time. Mr O'Connor, you keep interjecting uh, when the Premier hasn't been... Most of them. Just trying uh, to make some, sure he doesn't... Some ongoing. He's correct. Say so uncorrect things. Order. Miss White has 